Alright. Let's do this. I forgot I've played this game. Okay, so Z is my... Okay, so I should probably explain what I'm doing. Uh, Happy Halloween is what I'm doing. So I decided to play a very not fitting game for Halloween. You know, the usual. Oh, there we go. Hmm, weird. Also weird. Eh, I don't think I'll collect those. Well, eh, I might. So, what is a version? It's a game. It's a platformer. You know, kind of nostalgia wore off there, but, you know, it's a fun platformer. Damn, clouds are solid. Can't go ahead. But yeah. The Evert button. Oh, right, when you press that button, by the way, it shows you those... I don't know what to call them. Lair points, I guess? Yeah, we'll call them that because... Oh, well, I died. Because they're sort of lairs, I guess. I.e. you can only go to lair 1 from lair 2 and vice versa. But yeah, I like this game. I've played it before. Oh. I'm also bad, as you can tell. But yeah. <laughs> the only thing spooky here is how bad I am at this. Now, gems collected stay over deaths. You can abuse that. <laughs> I am awful at this game. But yeah, this game has multiple endings. Uh, hmm. Let's go down to layer two. Oh, all right. Trees are still solid in two. Also, oh, they're looking a bit more concerned. It always respawns you in whatever layer you were in when you initially hit the checkpoint. Oh. Um. Oh, there's the V. Found that one on accident. I think I do have to find three. But yeah, spoiler alert, this game is actually gonna get horrifying later on. You know, uh, this game's on Steam. I think it's free. Even if not, it is somewhat worth it. I, I would say, as long as it's like below ten dollars, cause it's it's a short little cheap game. Oh. Okay, so because I hit that checkpoint in three, I'm now stuck in three. Okay, let me, uh, you can press ask at any time to go back to the start menu, by the way. Because there were a couple gems I missed. These two, specifically. Everything saves, by the way, except the score. But, if you're fucking high scoring in a version, what the fuck are you on? That would just be a long play where you kill every enemy. But yeah, this game is a nice little platformer. I genuinely love it. Cause it is 
Okay. So I have a story with this game. I'll tell it later, but yeah. Also, this is gonna be just a one-off video. Then I'll start doing like Halloween specials, I guess. Cause Halloween's actually my favorite well it's my favorite holiday. I gotta Usually there'll be small one-off games like this. Oh, we're starting in three. Hmm. Or two, rather. Still can't break that, so... This is actually... This level... I like and dislike it because on one hand it really does build up the tension very well. For what layer 4 is. So yeah, we need solid clouds. To be able to get up there. Oh yeah, you can't jump if you're right below a block. Which makes this really annoying to get to. Whatever, we'll come back for those later. I did not mean to hit that checkpoint. But yeah, this level you have to do a bit more puzzling to get the gems. Oh wait, there's... So yeah, this is why I call this game more of a puzzly game, if that makes sense. Okay, and then we go on to layer 4. Okay, let's go back, because I want to get up there on like layer 1 or 3, just to see what's up on those clouds. <sighs> this is actually a game I debated speedrunning for a while before I decided not to. You know. Uh, hold on. Can you guys see this? Yes, you can see overlay. Okay. One sec while I look up where the letter is. I'm back. Okay, so I was wrong about where the letter was. It's up here. I am going to be using a guide for the letters since they are very difficult to get. Oh, I see how I get up there and then... Okay, I see how I do this. Uh, gems are on every single layer at once. The letters are only on a specific layer at a specific point, so that's why they're really annoying to get. Yeah, 
Gotta wait for him to come back. Yeah, I remember these gems being a pain every single time I go for them. You know, I probably should put a flashing light warning, because, I don't know, I could somehow trigger a seizure or something, I don't want to do that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, one unique trait of Lair 4 is that enemies are completely just stuck. I messed up. I had to go faster. And we're missing five gems. I always forget this guy's name, by the way. Like, the main character's name. Oh, frickin'. I have to... <laughs> I missed a single gem. Honestly, if I got good enough to this game Deathless, I, I would speedrun it. But yeah, also, if you guys like the idea of these, like, one-off games, tell me. I'd be down for it. Oh. That gets me every single time I play this game. But yeah, Lair 5 is a lot more... aggressive. Than the other Lairs we've seen up to this point. You know, it's where the horror starts really sinking in. I always struggle to get those ones. Whatever, we'll get them on a different layer, probably. Actually, wait, no. If I remember right, there are trees there normally that will prevent me from getting them. So I have to do it on five or four. I mean, four would obviously be the easiest. Oh, hey, I got them. Now I can die. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of death abuse in this run. Uh, four. Okay. So it involves that structure when I see it. I have no idea if I need to do that for, like, a secret ending, because I've never actually done the whole chain like that. I've never collected all the letters. Okay. Okay, I could go above, but I'm gonna go below for now. Just kidding. Oh, fuck. But yeah, those hands are a major annoyance. You might think, oh, well, uh... F first of all, they scream at you every time. Just leave this lair. Fun fact, this is the only time the game actually forces you on to, like, lair 5. Or any of the lair, like... If I remember right, this is one of the few times... Few, if not only, times where the game, like, genuinely skips layers. And it's to shock you, which I, I appreciate. Okay, so, for a platforming game, yeah, these controls are... Slippery. The character controls like he's constantly just... Okay, so wait. Oh, that's where I gotta go. Okay. 
Now I gotta go back through the level on layer 4 to get all the blocks. Shit. Yeah. I'm definitely not good at this game, if you couldn't tell. But, hey. It's Halloween, I'm playing something I don't usually play. Like, I, the last time I played this game was last year. In March. To pass time during class. It's... So, you know. Been a while. You... Bitch. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna go back to the checkpoint in layer 4. That way I can... <laughs> this is gonna be a long video if you guys couldn't tell. Oh, I gotta corner jump it? You gotta be kidding me, I hate that. Oh my god, that is like the least convenient spot that thing could have been in. I'll come back. Look at that. Yeah, I had to get those in layer 5. And for that one at the beginning, don't worry about that. That one doesn't have anything in it. I have to fit in there. Now I have to do it again because I'm stupid. Cool, got it. Letter R. Okay. Okay, so that's where I need to go there. Got it. Oh! Hmm. Those blocks break in five? Nope. They don't break on standing. So... Let's go deeper. To layer six. If layer five is when the game starts changing... Six is when it becomes outwardly hostile. Let's go back to five and see what we can find now. Hmm. Seems like a dead end. Except this is, for some reason, when the the button stops telling you, I'm pretty sure. So you have to find them manually. Yeah, so when the button stops telling you how to go up.
But even then, we can't really go backwards that much, huh? Well, that's because we were supposed to be smart. I think. Basically, there's nothing stopping us from, say, doing that. Then going to lair 4, since 5 doesn't really offer us any benefit that 4 doesn't. I guess that's just in case the player got the idea. idea without getting the actual execution, I guess. We're still missing two gems. Oh. One gem. This gem, though, is really finicky to get, so... There is a way to do it if you go down there, I'm pretty sure. I just like doing it this way. Since 4 is a very safe lair. Outside of the whole... You know... Clouds are no longer solid thing. Let's see if there is a 6 somewhere that I can maybe access. I'm actually curious, like, is there a 6? Because otherwise, it'd be impossible to actually go forward. There isn't. Hmm. Neat. We need to be in 4. Hang on. Let's fix that. Okay, we got it. You're gonna see me exit the start a lot. One thing I do appreciate is how much more hellish the backgrounds get over these layers. They're, They're done very well. And now we have all the gems, so we can just leave. Oh, that's layer 7, huh? <laughs> okay, hang on, where is the... Okay, so I have to find a way back. Okay. Also, uh, those spiky weeds kill us. I don't think I had to explain that. And the phone's ringing. I'm gonna mute my mic while I do this. Wow, that was a run.
Ow. You may have to go to the bottom anyway. Oh yeah, that's just to show that, yeah, we explode too when we touch the spikes. Also, one thing to notice is the enemies were slow for a while, but now they're back, and they're fast. You know? Oh, ready to die? Yeah, I am. I love how those messages also get much more messed up with time. We'll dodge the hand. I forgot he was there. <laughs> I wonder what speedrun of this game looks like. Collect the gems, at least, because that's the only reason you're... Okay. Oh, you see me now, do you? <laughs> well, now you don't. Let me get the gem, please. <laughs> okay, I'm going around for it. I'm not skipping a gem, the auto scroller. <laughs> Ow. Stop. No. Well, that was a lair transition. There's a lair transition in there. Good to know. And that lair transition removes the fog. Which means you don't have to be stupid precise to get this eye. I have done it. I'm pretty sure I've done it. Without that. But, you know. Oh, that's a tally. Alright, let's get the games. Oh, yeah, by the way, the rocks are alive now. They stop when you jump on them. Let's get two of the game's endings, because, yeah. For two of the endings, level seven's the end. So for this first one, we're just going to basically ignore, it's just beat level 7. No gem requirements, no nothing, you just got to beat level 7. I'm going to collect any gems I see along the way. Because there are a couple mean ones in this level where it's like, yeah, you need to be at level 7 at the end of the level and that's annoying. Why do you only do that when I jump? One minute, please. My grandma came in to throw peanut M&Ms at me. What a lovely woman. <laughs> One minute, please, again.
She was just grabbing something out of my room as well. We're gonna actually wait here. But yeah, I'm not really exploring this level much because there really isn't much of a purpose to doing so yet. Because I'm just going to go for the basic ending. But yeah, you guys can already see some of the gems that are going to be really annoying to get. World clear! Now let's see that first ending. That's nice. Save the princess. Classic platformer tropes. There's no way this turns horrible. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no way this goes badly. This is just the final boss. What do you mean I can't control the game? I'm just letting it hit me. For comedic effect. Yeah, that's ending one. I'll be back when I have the game up again. Okay, I'm back. Let's... Let's go get the rest of the gems in level seven. Those ones I left because I gotta come back for them anyway. Hey, the rocks aren't sentient anymore. But yeah, this level is a huge just chain of aversions you need to go through. To figure your way back out to like, layer one. There's no special ending for ending the game on any specific lair. Except for one, which I will be doing. I remember where I have to go for this one. Yeah, because I don't have all of these memorized. Oh yeah, he knows where four is. Speaking of 4, this is where we have to end the game if we want to get a special ending. I really hope I left the one enemy I need. Right, yeah, this is the annoying part. Is that you need to do... To end in layer 4, you need to jump off an enemy. However, that enemy is... All the way at the end of the level. The transition to 4 is at the start. So... You know...
You'd be mistaken for thinking this is pointless. Oh yeah, the reason I just use I don't use the transition from three is because then there's trees in the way. And trust me, I'm gonna have to go back a bunch of layers too, so I'm not hugely worried about four. Like being on four. I also decided to clear out all the enemies. Except for him. Alright, let's see where the enemy is. So he's here. Okay, I'm gonna use three to get him close. I'm also gonna hit that block while I'm here. Generally, I try and do what I can whenever I can in this. Makes it a heck of a lot easier. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, uh. Okay, first things first, go back and kill him. Go and hit this one block. Okay, now we wait again until he gets close to the plants before freezing him again. And once we get him over past the plants, we can start abusing Three's gate, or the third layer, to really speed it up, but... I also like to take out every enemy I can on the way, just so I can't die. I'm also gonna get this gem here open and collected. Mind you, these last eight gems are really annoying to get. Okay, he should be over there. Past both the bushes at this point. And then he could finally start exploring in three and two and one. Oh, he's actually in perfect positioning. Nice. World clear! Heck yeah! Well, it's changing to layer four. No movement. No movement. Oh, by the way, like, doing that one actually forces you to, like, quit out. Um, yeah, I can go into six. I do need to crumble some blocks though before I can really start going in this level. Now I gotta remember where five was. It was here. K, 
Okay, four is at the start of the level. But yeah. To get some of them, you have to go from... To get two gems in specific, which are by far the most annoying in the game. To me, at least. You need to go... All the way from, like, layer six... Down to, I think, one or two. Also hit this while I still can. Cause I don't know if something blocks me later. But hey, clouds are solid now. I mean I can open up these three. That's where that one is. Oh great, uh... Right, I forgot that about Steam Guides. Okay, so that's where it is. Okay, with layer two, we now have trees and... This gem is also really annoying because you need to jump really late to get it. Because, <laughs> yeah, the detection for hitting boxes is really strange. Dang, this world's perfect! Oh, okay, there's the O. I messed up. Oh, I'm still in there one, okay. That makes things easier, because I gotta go to two to hit those, and then I have to go to five or six. Because I have to get those bushes gone. And then, last three gems. Oh, that's right, no, that's not where it is. Stupid. Actually, four might be enough to get that. Concerning four is the layer where a lot of plants die. Nope, we need to go five. Okay. And after I get to five and get those, I'll probably just quick reset just to do what I need to do. Mm. 
Mind you, going through this in layer 5 is gonna be tense, because if I mess up... I gotta go back down to 3, then go back up to 5, and it's just a whole thing. Mind you, I like this level. It's fun. It's just annoying sometimes. But yeah, as you could tell... There we go. We got every single gem. Hmm. There's an aversion point there. Do not like this, but you know. First thing to show off about this lair. Enemies respawn! Second of all, they're fast. Yeah, very fast. Third of all, the music. There's something about that one bass kick that always gets me. I don't know why. Third of all, uh, our HUD is gone. Yeah, but this is basically just Lair 7 with respawning and faster enemies. And creepy ass music. Oh yeah, and this finish. Okay, so where is it in this? Layer 1 area, okay. Basically, I'm missing two achievements with this game, and I'm finally gonna get them. So, okay, I should probably actually show off how this level works. Basically, if you don't do the right thing, it loops. After a point. Yeah, as you can see, we're back to our start. Our goal is to find our way back down from layer 8 to layer 1. I messed that up. Oh, and you can't go backwards in this level because of the the stupid gas. Oh, right. I remember why this one is so annoying. Basically, anything I make has to be reversible or re I have to be able to go back up it
Uh, that's still makeable. Well... <laughs> well, now I gotta die. They slightly messed up during my... <laughs> yeah, this level's the hardest one in the game, platforming-wise. Oh, you might think you can make that jump. But you can't. Trust me, I wasted hours of my life. Trying that. That is still makeable, I think, on Lair Four. Or five, rather. Because five is where I'll be. Oh, barely. Okay, good. And now we're in four. So there's two. With two, you gotta go down the bottom. Now, yeah, I. This is a lot easier since I do know where I am going. Normally, this would be pretty. It'd be harder than you think to do. I'm going to actually collect the last letter while I'm here. I actually don't know what collecting them all does, because I've never done it. Oh, it's a Steam achievement, okay. No special ending. Alright, this game came out at the same time as Braid, so... Also, that hand... That hand is... <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> but yeah. And here's the last ending. Oh no, nothing changed. Or did it? Yeah, I like the little twist at the end, you know? It's a nice little one. But. Yeah, that's all there is for this game. Love. Um, I'm gonna be back in a sec because there's one last thing I want to show you guys. Oh, uh, th there was nothing. Basically, I uh, I thought if you edited the files special screen, like 
and Deltarune popped up now. No. Uh, yeah, to name all the layers, the first one is Deception, second is Erosion, I always think that's the fourth and I don't know why, third is Desolation, then Apprehension, Confusion, Commotion, and then Induction. But yeah, would I recommend this game? Yeah, it's fun enough. Uh, happy Halloween, everyone. Peace.